Hello everyone! Today, we are going to talk about the seven continents. Remember to click the follow button to get updates about new videos. If you have gone on a vacation that was really far away, you might have traveled to another continent. But wait, what exactly is a continent? There are exactly seven continents on Earth. In this video, we are going to talk about the seven continents and the special things about them. We will also learn about the different hemispheres, equator, and the prime meridian. Let's jump to it. To start off, what are continents? Continents are big chunks of land that make up all the land on Earth. These gigantic chunks of land are separated by large bodies of water. Each continent is made up of several countries with different people, animals, and plants that make it special from other continents. On Earth, there are seven total continents. Asia is the biggest continent. It's where countries like China, India, and Japan are. You can find the tallest mountain in the world, Mount Everest, here. Africa is known for its deserts like the Sahara and wild animals like lions and elephants. Egypt, with its pyramids, is also in Africa. North America has countries like the United States, Canada, and Mexico. The United States has famous places like New York City and the Grand Canyon. South America is known for the Amazon rainforest, which is full of amazing plants and animals. You can find countries like Brazil and Argentina here. Antarctica is the coldest continent, covered in ice and snow. Penguins and seals live here. Not a lot of people live in Antarctica, except for scientists who come to study the land. Europe is famous for its history with places like the Eiffel Tower in France and the Colosseum in Italy. Many countries in Europe use the same money called the Euro. Australia is a big island surrounded by water. It's famous for kangaroos, koalas, and unique animals. The Great Barrier Reef is found in the waters around Australia, and it's the largest coral reef in the world. When we talk about the hemispheres, think of the Earth as a big ball that is divided into two halves. These halves are called hemispheres. Imagine cutting an orange in half. You have two pieces, right? Well, Earth has two halves too. The northern hemisphere is the top half of Earth, like the top part of the orange. Many countries like the United States, Canada, and Russia are in this half. It's also where you'll find the North Pole. The southern hemisphere is the bottom half of Earth, like the bottom part of the orange. Countries like Australia, Brazil, and South Africa are in this half. The South Pole is also in the Southern Hemisphere. Along with the Northern and Southern Hemispheres, there are two more halves of the Earth called the Eastern Hemisphere and the Western Hemisphere. The Eastern Hemisphere is like one side of Earth, just like when you look to your right or left. The Eastern Hemisphere includes places like Europe, Asia, Africa, and Australia. So if you live in Europe, for example, you're in the Eastern Hemisphere. The Western Hemisphere is the other side of Earth, like when you look to your opposite side. The Western Hemisphere includes places like North America, South America, and the small part of Asia. If you live in the Americas, you're in the Western Hemisphere. So when we talk about these hemispheres, we're basically splitting Earth into its right and left sides and its top and bottom halves. It helps us know where different countries and places are on our big Earth map. Now let's discuss the prime meridian and equator. Imagine a big line that goes from the North Pole to the South Pole like a giant belt around Earth. The prime meridian is like the starting line for measuring how far east or west a place is. It helps us figure out time zones and where things are on a map. It's like the main road for maps. Now, think of a big line that goes right around the middle of the Earth 
like the belt on your waist. This line is called the equator. It is where the weather is usually warm because it's close to the sun. The equator divides Earth into the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. To learn more about social studies topics and other learning subjects, visit the Literacy and Math Ideas site for fun resources. The link to the website will be in the description of this video. Thanks for watching.